I thought we were playing. I, I told the guys we played some some really uh, about as focused um, stretches of basketball that we've played since I've been here. Um, and uh, but we still have these ups and downs, the lulls. Uh, we've got guys that are playing new roles constantly. Um, and then you know we, we we had a chance to kind of put the game away and we missed some free throws. And then the freshman who uh, freshman for them who barely made our scouting report, you know, comes in and you know makes four straight threes. Um, we we uh, we were not guarding one of the other guys at his position. They took him out and uh, and then after the first one, we started changed our ball screen coverage. But somehow we were still getting in rotation, and he ended up the guy open each time. So, um, but this team, this team before, uh, when they had something frustrating like that happen, would have kind of folded. You know, we, we would have barked at each other. And, um, but they, they found a way to stay resilient. Um, you know, uh, Eric made huge free throws. KP made huge free throws. Um, and they made them really when it mattered. Uh, and then, Got a couple stops there at the end, and uh, we were going to foul the last possession, and they ended up getting a good shot, so it was a really good play. Um, uh, we'll have to go back and look, but we were going to foul on the catch, and we didn't get there to foul. Question? How much of that, uh, that battle with the university was these two guys kind of taking over on the offense, and I think they scored all the two of their final 30-20s? I mean, it, it was everything, you know? and. Uh, I was talking to them because they're both great shooters, uh, but we were having a lot of a lot of luck, a lot of success getting downhill, getting to the rim, and uh, they stayed aggressive and got downhill. Uh, Eric not only made the free throws, KP two, but they had great finishes at the rim uh, and in the paint. And then uh, you know that's something that we weren't doing early in the year. You know we would have we would have settled for some threes even though we were having success. And uh, credit to these guys and. I don't know what they would they go, ten for ten, something like that, mm -hmm. down the stretch, from the free throw line. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, they were yeah, they stayed aggressive and uh, yeah. KP got kneed pretty good and uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll talk about it. Yeah. and uh, but still like you know doesn't come out of the game doesn't you know keeps coming at you. Eric Eric uh, has proven over the last few games that he's got huge confidence down the stretch. I feel like it's confidence, man. I've been I started hard this season, man. That was, you know, if we take go back to the stats, man. I, I had a hard start, so I just stayed in there doing my teammates and my coaches that gave me that confidence to keep keep getting my shots up, and that's what it was, man. The confidence it came a long way. Yeah, I could definitely uh, double back on that confidence for sure. Just staying in the gym, believing in each other, you know, and just making it work. If I could add some of that. We, 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 these, these two are the barometer on our team for where the spirit of our team is. When the spirit of our team is, is not right, KP is the first one that doesn't play well because he cares that much. And I think Eric, uh, being around Eric, Eric's similar. And when the spirit of our team is right, they really, they really have taken off. And uh, uh, the, the cohesion on this group has just completely changed. Um, the work ethic. The last three weeks, we've been. If we continue this this route and this spirit, um, you know, we can do a lot of damage in this league. Y'all say that's right. For sure. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, we were really good both, and we turned them over, and we got those leads. We got to find a way to sustain it a little better. Um, changed our ball screens; they really picked on our ball screen coverage. Um, we were aggressive to begin with, and then they started hurting us, and um, we never really figured out that piece. So, I'll go back to the to the um, to the film. A lot of it was just we we missed those free throws, and I don't know five minutes in, six minutes in, when they were teetering. 
you know, was about to be put away. And uh, and then the kid hit the whatever four threes. Yeah, number seven, a yeah. freshman. Yeah. Uh, definitely, really just just trying to expand my game. You know, uh, Sky Report is here, so you know you got to find other ways to impact the game. Not a, not only scoring, but just finding other ways to impact the game. And I felt like I was able to get downhill and you know make buckets. Hey, Terrell, I'll piggyback off of that because I noticed that most of the last couple of weeks, the guy is getting to the rim, you know, much more. I know Coach, you said before you're not settling necessarily for the threes. Um, maybe not necessarily a concentrated effort, but is it one of those things for whatever reason things are clicking now offensively and giving you the opportunities through screens and what have you to get to the rim and, and get those opportunities up close? Um, yes. I feel like once Coach tells me like to get downhill more and tell me that uh, once I see that I can't, they can't guard us off the, off the dribble, then I feel like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and attack them. Yeah, so yeah. Nah, just, just, it is, it was an emphasis to get downhill, um, especially for me. You know, I settled a lot, so just, like I said, just trying to find other ways to score. And these these guys have had a lot of growth too. KP tonight, um, early in the year, he would have, he would have driven with his head down and kind of tried to score over length. Today, he played off two, he pivoted back, he hit the little little um, stride step fade away. He mm -hmm. got an up and under. He made a couple of good pull passes. So did Eric. So, just they're 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 paying attention to the work that they're putting in in the gym. It's really paying off. Yeah, he, yeah, he he uh, he got injured in practice two days ago, and uh, will be out for. He broke his wrist. So, yeah, that's. I mean, at this point, we're down four guys that have started at some point in the year. And, uh, you know, it hurt us tonight. Uh, I thought his absence hurt us. He's, he had kind of started to become our, our glue guy. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, but, you know, we got enough. You know, Faison and Langston, Lyric, those guys. Simeon played his first significant minutes tonight. You know, we, we've got to we gotta piece it together. It does, uh, it changes us a little bit because he, he was more dynamic. Um, but we still have the ability with Lyric to play with some small ball four and uh, and those other guys big. We just got to change a little bit what we're doing. Yeah, he's really close. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I've said that before, and he had shut down again. But um, yeah, he uh, went through shoot around today. And, you know, we're ready to have him back. 